Alright, so what we're going to do now in this video is we're going to assemble the drums. This is the low reverse drum. We're doing a repair, not necessarily a rebuild. So you want to make sure you change all your, your rubbers. These are, these are fresh. You want to grease them up. And that one went down. If it was a new seal, you'd probably have to use the lip seal tool. Then you have your spring cage. And the last thing is the snap ring. Then you can press down the spring cage. And then you grab your snap ring pliers and your snap ring. And that's now complete. This is a cushion spring. And then a still. Clutch. Still. Clutch. Still. Clutch, still, clutch. As you can see right there, you're pretty much level with the snap ring groove. And that actually feels about right. So that drum's done. Um, if you're doing a full rebuild, you'd probably change these bushings. They actually felt pretty good. You're not ring cut in here. That's something else you'd look for. The second drum we're going to work on is the Simpa drum. It's got this green o-ring. I pulled it out just to kind of show you. It goes down deep in this groove. You've got to make sure you put it on there. I'm going to grease it up and roll it in there. It goes just past, just past that surface right there. All right, there's that. This piston goes in the bottom. It's followed up by this cage, this spring cage this surface, and then this guy. You line up the wide ones with the fingers, and then this goes on top. So what I do, start with this guy. Now the earlier 700s, well this isn't even, this is kind of an upgrade, this is a 4L60 piston. The 700s had aluminum pistons with regular lip sills but you can kind of upgrade it by going to the molded pistons they put in the later 460s. So we have a cage in there, then we have a spring. These are pretty simple if you just kind of gently turn them out and make them go. That goes in the side of there. So once you have this as an assembly, you can actually kind of line them up with the grooves, line them up on the center, and then even if the pistons are new, this works, but this is pretty easy because this has already been used, but you just kind of hold it like this and push down. But you have to push a little harder if it's the molded pistons and they're new. So there's room in there for the spring cage and the groove. So now we're ready for the spring cage on this. This is a little more difficult with the press because it has the long shaft. Kind of got to work it off the bench a little bit. Now that's the next drum we're going to do is this. We're going to load this forward drum. These are the coast clutches, the little guys. Once those are in, you want to make sure your spring's in place. Turn it until it feels like it's on the bearing. And that's good. These are the forward clutches, they go next. They actually also work as a backing plate for the uh, coast clutches. The little notches where it's open, that's for this area. They splint on the outside of the sprag assembly. And then you can see that the snap ring's good there. Okay, and then after that snap rings down. Here's the other clash pack. You see how it's got the foot here? This actually rides on that cage, if you can see here. This is the three, four clutches, are also the directs. They come on with third, and then the only thing that changes it to make it fourth is the second gear band comes back on. 
same thing. The small, small teeth, those go here to leave an opening. The newer models have a little return spring that goes down there. Uh, some 700s didn't, and this one did not. But if it did, you could put it down in that hole. That's the forward drum. Other than the lower reverse clutches, these two drums are the only ones with clutches. Lower reverse clutches go on the bottom of the case here, and they get installed during assembly. Okay, loading the case. This is the very bottom piece. There's a bearing on the bottom. Make sure you always glue your bearings on with whatever assembly gel you have. This is the ring gear. It also has the notches for the park pole, and it just goes in the very bottom. There's already the, 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 low, the low reverse piston's already in place. So as you can see, that just spins on the bearing. Next part is the planetary gear. It's already got the bearing glued on it. There's the bearing. This goes on next. There's that. At that point, it's time for clutches. So that's just a wave plate. This is the first still. Clutch, still. These only go in one way. Once all those are in, it's time for the backing plate that also has the sprag in it. The little reverse sprag. Turns that way, it won't turn the other way. Before you can put the backing plate in, you gotta put this anti-clunk spring. It sits right. You'll see how it has a groove right here. Just lay that groove on that little bump down there. And that's where that goes. Then you could put in your backing plate. The snap ring covers the uh, anti-clunk spring. Kind of holds it in place. Then comes this plastic washer. Just sits in the groove. Then your sun gear. Then your sun shell, you can see it has a brass washer in there. And the hub. Notice the movement's restricted down. Then we have a planetary gear. And this is when we put in the uh, output shaft. Once that shaft's in, we have to put in a snap ring. So that's all the gear train. At that point, you put in the sun gear in the top planet, and that's time for the input drum. You wiggle it, that's how you splat it down. That's all the way down. And then the little reverse drum. And, just flying. and then that's all the way down. We'll get to this point. You're ready for your second gear band. Also comes on an overdrive. So we kind of tilt this. You can get this down here pretty easy. And then make sure you're still down. Once you get to that point, you want to put your band anchor in. Is actually from the valve body side, which goes here. So that's lined up, push that in. When you get to that point, grease up your holes a little bit to hold your gasket in place. Make sure your pump washer's in place. Make sure your pump washer's in place. If you do a rebuild kit, there will be new uh, rings for these bolts. These are still soft and in pretty good shape. That's what puts up at about 35 foot-pounds. Now if you did this right, this input shaft will still turn. 
you did it wrong or you got something stacked or not supplied, that's not going to turn and you should tear it back apart or you're going to be sorry. That concludes the rotating assembly part of a 4L60, also a 700R4, they're actually very similar.